Hey everyone, Shaver 1000 here. Today, I'm gonna be checking out uh, what monkey got me for Father's Day. Uh, you probably hear some banging and stuff, but they're still working on the roof. They're almost done. But anyway, and besides, it's just way too cold out, or too cold outside. It's too cold outside, but it's too hot outside for me to work. Uh, on anything out there so uh, I'm gonna put this together in here and um, when I'm done with that I gotta do that one yeah monkey one and one two all right so you know, hopefully everything's all right but you know FedEx is then they have one girl what do you think she was maybe five foot five oh yeah she was tiny about 120 yeah 115 she tried to pick this thing up all by, by herself. herself they they didn't have any help with her and there's two of them they weigh 62 pounds each and don't they have to load their car trucks up by themselves i don't know probably but, that's yeah. terrible that's that's terrible yeah just a tiny thing really yeah so all right let me get you on the stand and we'll open this up Okay guys, let's open this up. And I want you to keep this box for 30 days. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I ain't got room for the cigarette box. So as you can see, I forgot to tell you, but it's the Muck Pet Suburban. So I finally got me another Suburban, guys. My longtime followers will know what I'm talking about. pedals, the manual, some tools, we got bike rack and some foam, that's for monkey to catch, there you go, the catch. <laughs> there's the tail light, it's got a brake light too. Yeah. Yes. I need one. So. I should put my clippers. Okay, 
Again, sorry for the lighting. We'll uh, go ahead and get this stuff out. I'll take a look at the instructions, but it's a bicycle. It's pretty self-explanatory. This, that is one big tire. <laughs> cool. It is well packaged. This is the battery, I think. stuff in here. We'll get to this stuff in a minute. Yeah, them boys been don't get on that roof today. They'll have it done here in a little while. And they didn't start on it until they had to go finish another job they didn't have drip edge for yesterday, so they had to finish it this morning. And uh So they didn't start on until, I don't know, 10.30 maybe, something like that. But, you know, when a guy knows what he's doing, you know, and them guys know what they're doing, they uh, can really go to town on it. There's the seat, or what some guys call a saddle. A bit of scuff there, but not a deal breaker. Alright, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Pull the rest of the stuff off the front, and we'll start assembling. Alright, so the first thing we're, we've got to do is put the handlebars on, and just take all. Take out these four screws. They give you the tools. Some Allen wrenches in there, a regular wrench, or a, well, an open end wrench for probably the pedals. Because 
they need to be a thin wrench. I'm going to put those four screws in. Then we'll be back with step two. Okay, so now we're going to put the front wheel on. I already took the, the nuts and the holders off of it. Their washer with the little hook, I'll show you here in a minute. But they're four. Take that out. Make sure you line your caliper up to go. I don't know what you're seeing. Make sure you line your caliper up to go over your rotor. on it there's a little hole there make sure that hook goes in there start your nuts on both sides before you tighten it down okay <coughs> looks good now I'll show you here in just a second let me get these tightened up with a supply wrench, which is a 15. Now we'll go over these, everything on here. When it's done, make sure everything is tight, as you should do with any new bicycle. In fact, I think this is, <laughs> this is my first brand new bicycle ever. Okay, so let me show you. Right there. Make sure that little hook goes into that hole. There you go. See it? The hook goes into that hole. May need to adjust the brakes and stuff like that. That's a later. Uh, so yeah, we're getting there. Now I think the next is the next thing's probably the seat. Yeah, we've got that on. No, the next will be the fender and headlight. Place the fender and headlight in the right position, then tighten the screw. Tighten the screws on both sides of the fender. Okay, I'll show you where those go. There's one here. And one on the other side and one up here so let me get you in the stand okay so 
I'm going to take this screw out. It does have a nut on it, but the wrench doesn't fit that nut. So I have to use my own wrench. But put these two screws in. We'll get them started. side and just put these finger tight for right now. Then I'll adjust this where I want it to be. And I'll go ahead and get those tight now. Just those two and this one up here. Now for the rear rack, you've got a bolt here, there, there, and one on this side here. I'm just going to take them off. And we're going to put our rack on. Well, that shouldn't be that tight, should it? But anyway, these bikes have um, four and a half star reviews out of a lot of reviews, so Monkey said, you want to get one of them? I'm like, yeah, and we looked it up and we YouTubed them and they were, you know, they were uh, getting some good reviews and got to look and might as well get two <laughs> because I think about buying another battery but the battery is almost $400 this bike is like $699 right now so I was like I might as well just get another bike for that kind of money so alright now I don't know where monkey put the there's the rack Really, all I'm seeing so far is one wire to plug in, that's for the tail light. Um, you can also get a basket for these. You can get saddlebags for these. So they do have uh, accessories. Uh-huh. Okay. Well. I'm sure don't go in there. It's got to go like this. Okay. Well. Looks like the rack might be bent and shipping, of course. Can't really blame that on the company. supposed to be here yesterday. Alright, I'm going to get these screws on here. I may have to tweak this a little bit up here. If I do, I'll show you what I did. Okay, I just put them in. They went in alright. Um, yeah, the fender's a little scuffed there. but So, they do give you zip ties to run your cable down through. This is for your brake light again. So let's go ahead. 
see which way I want to run it. Probably about like that. And this only plugs in one way, you can't mix it up. There's a little slot in this side and like a hole, <laughs> oh, you know. Anyway. There's only one way it can go. And it also has an arrow on it. Line the two arrows up. Plug it in. And then, you know, run your zip ties however you want to run your zip ties. And then, um, that's pretty much it for that part. I think... Let's see, I'm not sure if we do the pedals now or the seat, but I'll check. Alright, so now we're going to do the seat. It's got some numbers here. This bike will fit 5 foot 6 up to 6 foot 4 people. So we'll put this in here. We'll set it down like that for right now. And this, right there, you can tighten that a little bit. Straighten your seat out and then you flip this forward if you don't want to go loosen that nut just a little bit a little bit more that way you can raise and lower the seat how you need it to be and there's the seat on there that's all the way down because I'll have monkey sit on it she's afraid it's going to be too tall for her I don't think so of course I'll check the air pressure and all that Okay, now the pedals, there is a left and right on these pedals, if you didn't know. Okay. And it's because one's right-handed thread, one's left-handed thread. That's so they don't come loose. And on the bottom here, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's an L, and the other one's a right. And down here, corresponding that's left now we'll use our little wrench we got over there that they sent us <clears throat> and tighten the pedal now I'm going to do this side too all right now we're going to put the battery in there we go and lock it and you can charge it with it on the bike or off the bike. And then you push the top button. It's got a little gauge and it's reading almost full. So, and they give you two keys. There. Okay bike is done I gotta check air pressure and all that stuff and I'm gonna read up about the monitor how you turn it on and all that I don't know if I mentioned there's a uh, seven speed Shimano all right this is a twist throttle here half grip twist throttle and here's some controls for your uh, like for your pedal assist and all that so all right now i think to turn the headlight on you hold that power button but you probably gotta turn this on there we go Ooh, nice display now you hold the okay there's the headlight it's on tail lights on let's see if we've got brake light oh yeah Cool. All right, I'm going to read up on that, check the tire pressure. I'm going to go over every nut and bolt on that thing. Especially, guys, if you go to Walmart or somewhere like that and buy a bicycle, roll it out, throw it in your truck, take it home, give it to your kid. Don't let them get on it right away. Make sure you tighten every, go over every nut and bolt on it because the same guy that put that together is probably stocking the shelves right now. You know what I mean? so he's not a bicycle mechanic so yeah it looks pretty cool all right let me read up on this 
Okay guys, so it did come with two mirrors. One for the other side, but I don't have one yet because this is, I don't know. It's not really a mirror, it's just kind of like a reflective piece of plastic. Probably still safer than nothing, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll see how that one looks and then we'll go from there. But right now, I'm going to read up on this, check tire pressure, and we'll go from there. And it also comes with a bike lock. So, that's nice. I didn't realize it did this. It moves around. Cool. I still got the cover on that and the cover on that, so. Alright guys, I don't know what you're seeing, but uh I've got you on chest mount here and um let's go for a little ride here. Alright. We'll start off on three. Hopefully you can hear me, I don't have my mic on. I can tell you I don't like the seat. And also, the brakes are a little noisy, so I'm not going to adjust them because they feel alright. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna let them wear in for a little bit see what they do Let's see we're at 25 on three go to four we're 28.7 there's five 31 and a half 32 And it is pretty quick. A lot of guys say it's it's a little sluggish. Now I've never had like a two thousand dollar e-bike. I've never actually had an e-bike. Some guys say it's sluggish, but I mean it's picking right up as I'm pedaling. I'm not even hitting the gas. And this thing has really helped me up this hill. And I'm hardly doing any pedaling. But if I need help. I just give it the gas and quit pedaling. I don't know if you can hear that since I don't have a mic on, but yeah, the brakes are a little noisy. They feel great though, but they're noisy, so I'm not going to adjust them just yet. So, all right, <coughs> excuse me. Let me grab my other camera, come back out. I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, guys, I know I just told you in the last clip my final thoughts, but it's not my final thoughts because, uh, you know, I'm going to ride it around for a week or two, and I'm going to put some miles on it, run a battery, you know, run it through the battery, and that way I can give you guys a good, honest review. So far, I like the bike. I don't like the seat. Monkey might like it. I don't like it. But a lot of guys say it's real comfortable, and then some guys say it's not. To me, it doesn't feel real comfortable, and I don't like that the brakes make noises they're not getting hot they're just kind of squeaky so I want to see if they run in and if they run in all right you know then I may try to adjust them but I need to adjust this because this one's up higher than that one just a little stuff to make it your own you know so but yeah so far yeah I'm liking it the price point is a great plus in my book you know at 699 yeah um 
seems to be pretty good um, other than a couple of little things like the seat you can buy you can buy different seats that's not a big deal that's not a deal breaker um, easy to put together if I wasn't filming I could have had this put together in about 15 minutes if you've ever done any kind of DIY bicycles anything like that 15 20 minutes some guys say it takes them 30 minutes 45 minutes uh, if you've done this kind of stuff before it's not gonna take you that long honest <laughs> it's real simple so I'm gonna adjust these the way I want them like I said that'll be it for today and then um, as I as I write it more and get to know more about it and um, check things out I did add air, air in the tires it rides all right um, I'll get back with you and, and then I'll do a complete review on it and tell you my likes and dislikes the pros and cons and then we'll go from there you're supposed to get 40 40 plus miles on a charge maybe 45 plus miles on a charge but I'm 190 so but we'll see I mean you know I haven't had a full charge and there's the energy bar right there I still got the cover on it so that's not blinking in real life guys <laughs> but uh, let me see Still on 47.8 volts ish. Yeah. That's the current. Uh, here's the time that I've spent on it. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, but, yeah, I just, you know, I'll have to get used to it and everything, and then I'll let you guys know. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Jay Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. I'm not going to show you sitting, putting the other one together or anything like that because it's, it's just the same as this. So, uh, and I might not do it tonight. It's still hot out here. But, so, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And thank you very much, Monkey. My first brand new bike. Not only that, my first brand new e bike ever. So, that's cool. All right. I do like the paint scheme. And these wheels and tires are, <laughs> I like them. They do make a difference. All right, guys, we'll see you. Bye-bye and take care.